In our coverage of the fentanyl crisis tonight, the drug continues to claim lives across the country on a daily basis. Tonight, a group of Oklahoma religious leaders held a forum to talk about ways to help their communities. Fox 23's Katherine James is live with the group's message of hope. Shay and Sarah, the forum tonight was basically just to give answers and perspective on the drug crisis that script all parts of Tulsa in one way or another. Right. People in the North Tulsa community gathered for support and answers to Tulsa's drug overdose problem. You get so tired of people that come to us and say, hey, did you hear about such and such son dying? And you're like, well, what happened? Just an overdose, that fentanyl, that stuff that's on the street. And you're like, I heard that more than once. Carolyn Ingram is with the Oklahoma Pastors and Ministers Association. The OPMA invited the Tulsa Fire Department and others to talk about how to identify an overdose and get help. According to the Oklahoma State Department of Health, more people still overdose on meth than any other drug, but opioid overdoses, mostly due to fentanyl, aren't far behind. Together, they claimed nearly a thousand lives in 2021. This map shows that Tulsa County is one of the top five counties struggling with opioid and fentanyl overdose deaths. Ingram says her faith calls her to do more to help those suffering in her own community. That's the mission of the church. Why should we let the people that are struggling on drugs and we're just sitting in church? looking at the four walls, so this is a reach out. The OPMA encourages all communities of faith from all denominations to get out in their communities and make a difference. If someone you love is experiencing an overdose or you see signs of a possible overdose, they say that it's good to call 911 immediately because you could definitely save a life. Reporting live in Tulsa covering news that matters, Katherine James, Fox 23 News.